So we're back on the uh, budget camper today and we're going to start doing the solar. I bought an eco-worthy 130 watt flexible solar panel off eBay. I've got some solar cables, with the proper connectors, some of the right size terminals, with the right size holes for my battery, they're 8.4s for the eight more eight millimeter posts. And I've got an MPPT. That's a 20 amp one, which will be plenty for the panel. I've got some heat shrink, I can make a nice tidy job of it. First job is to connect the solar controller to the battery. You always do that bit first. So I've cut some cables off the length of wire and I'm going to connect the terminals to it. And I'm going to do that bit first. That's the connectors crimped on and my heat shrink going on. And then uh, I'll be using the heat gun to shrink that. I've only got two hands, I'll have to do that off film. So that's both of those done. And, uh, let's go get the controller fitted to the battery in the van. Okay, so that's the easy bit done. Connect it up to the battery and uh, connect it up to the battery terminals, connectors for the controller. Now we've got to drill some holes for the solar panel wires to go in. So we've just got the panel out and uh, it's actually so well packed. I thought they sent me a solid one to start with. And although they're probably supposed to have them, this one has got all the information on it stuck to it. So you know it's a proper 131 panel cheap ones that I got that were a proper size not like the little one in my other video the cheap ones don't even have that so I'm impressed so far never had to do that before either excellent so I've marked out and rubbed down where my sealant's going to go to make sure I get a good grip a good bond And the prime out around the hole of the roof clamp. Stick the panel on there and uh, you can put some of that pipe through there, stick it in and let it dry overnight. So I covered up the panel so it wasn't generating any power while I'm connecting things up. Clean the roof where the solar panel goes. I applied sealant on four rows and I put a little bit on the front edges just to help prevent it lifting. I've used the clear CT1 again on the cables. It seems to work on the big man and uh, connected them all up and I've done the roof clamp. So now I need all that to dry overnight. Hopefully it'll all be ready to test in the morning. So just to be safe, um, I've connected up the wires from the panel inside. Just uh, loosely for now, they're just hanging down. Um, I didn't want any possibility of any damage to the panel overnight. I'm going to leave it partially covered anyway, but just to be safe. And then uh, I'll run the wires through properly tomorrow and then we'll test it properly. Okay, so we're the next day now. The panel's charging slowly, but it's still partially covered. Um, I've run the cables and covered up where they went. And they've gone through the side panel there where the seatbelt goes and hit the bottom. And we've secured them with some clips so they shouldn't go jiggling about. So it should be nice and steady so at the moment. It's trickling in. I'm going to take the cover off now and see if it makes any difference. So 
covers off now. Um, the sun's coming out. We're still on 13. But, uh, hopefully it'll start getting a bit more power in. Uh, just creep up to 13.1. But I'll check again in an hour or so and see how we how we're looking. So that's the top view of the panels. Now it's all fixed. Okay, CT1 seems to be doing the job of keeping the cables tidy and not flapping about. It's all watertight. So we'll just take some readings and uh, check everything's working alright. So uh, it's about midday now. It's gone sunny and uh, that's just creeping up nicely. So very happy with that. Interestingly, I just uh, unplugged my drone battery and it went straight up to 13.8. So uh, happy days.